Hey guys, welcome back to Edubyte. We are back with a story on an experiment called Universe 25. So without further ado, let's check it out. Universe 25 was a study carried out from 1954 to 1972 by John B Calhoun, an American ethologist and behavioral researcher, who claimed bleak effects of overpopulation on rodents were a grim model for the future of the human race. Behavioral sink is a term invented by Calhoun to describe a collapse in behavior which can result from overcrowding. Calhoun spent years perfecting his methods and repeated this experiment 25 times in different scales and noted ominously identical results every time. Hence this is called Universe 25. Calhoun created the perfect mouse universe to conduct his study, which clearly looked like a rat utopia, which means a rat world which is perfect and has everything. In Universe 25, a population of mice would grow within a 2.7 square meter enclosure consisting of four pens. 256 living compartments and 16 burrows that led to food and water supplies. This facility was enough for more than 3000 mice to live comfortably. With a plague-free environment, a plentitude of comforts and no predation, with an unlimited supply of consumables, the mice would enjoy all the luxuries equivalent to the modern human life. Calhoun initiated the experiment with four pairs of healthy mice which were set loose into the enclosure to begin the new society. During the first 104 days, a phase Calhoun dubbed the strife period, the mice adjusted to their new surroundings, marked their territory and began nesting. This was followed by the exploit period which saw the population double every 55 days. By the 315th day, Universe 25 contained 620 mice. But there seemed to be a problem. Despite the abundance of space throughout the enclosure which was capable of housing 3000 mice most mice were crowded in select areas and eating the same food sources this act of eating as it turned out came to be viewed as communal activity which caused most of the mice to favor the same few compartments all of this huddling however led to a drop in mating and the birth rate soon fell to a third of its former level a social imbalance also took place among the mice Let us take a look at the social status in Universe 25. By the day 315, behavior disparities between the males of high and low status became more pronounced. Those at the bottom of the pecking order found themselves spurned from the females and withdrew from mating altogether. Having no roles to fulfill within the society of mice, these outcast males wandered apart from the larger groups to eat and sleep alone and sometimes fight among one another. The alpha males by contrast became more aggressive and pugnacious often launching into violence with no clear provocation or motive at times these males would roam around and indiscriminately rape other mice regardless of gender meanwhile the beta males those ranked between the aggressive alphas and outcast omegas grew timid and inert and often wound up being the passive recipients of violence in several instances blood baths ended up with a cannibalistic feast for the victors With male mice abandoning their traditional roles in Universe 25, the females were left to fend for their nests. Consequently, many females adopted more aggressive form of behavior, which would sometimes spill into violence towards their young offsprings. Others would refrain from motherly duties altogether, banishing their unrised litters and withdrawing from further mating, resulting in serious consequences. In some compartments, the infant mortality rate topped 90%. Calhoun named this the stagnation phase alternately known as the equilibrium period. He attributed the overly aggressive and passive behavioral patterns to the breakdown of social roles and rampant overclustering. By the 560th day, the population increase has ceased altogether as the mortality rate hovered at 100%. This marked the start of the death phase aka the die period in which the rodent utopia slid towards extinction. Amidst the violence Hostility and lack of mating a younger generation of mice reached maturity having never been exposed to example of normal healthy relations with no concept of mating or parenting or marking territory this generation of mice spent all their waking hours eating drinking and grooming themselves in reference to their perfected and unruffled appearances calhoun called these mice as the beautiful ones living in seclusion from the other mice they were spared the violence and conflicted that waged in the crowded areas yet made no social contributions according to calhoun the death phase consisted of two stages the first death 
characterized by the loss of purpose in life beyond mere existence including the loss of desire to mate raise young or establish a role within the society and the second death marked by the literal end of the life and extinction of universe 25 extending on his observations of the beautiful ones Calhoun later opened that mice as humans thrive on a sense of identity and purpose within the world at large. He argued experiences such as tension, stress, anxiety and the need to survive make it necessary to engage in society. When all needs are accounted for and no conflict exists, the act of living is stripped to its barest physiological essentials of food and sleep. Gradually, the mice that refused to mate or engage in society came to outnumber those that formed gangs, raped and plundered, and fed off their own. The last known conception in Universe 25 occurred on the day 920, at which the point of the population was capped at 2200, well short of the enclosure's 3000 capacity. An endless supply of food, water and other resources was still there for the mice, but it didn't matter. The behavioral sink had set in, and there was no stopping Universe 25 from carrying to its self-made demise. Soon enough, there was not a single living mouse left in the enclosure. In Calhoun's view, the rise and fall of Universe 25 proved five basic points about mice as well as humans. The mouse is a simple creature, but it must develop the skills for courtship, child rearing, territorial defense, and personal role fulfillment on the domestic and communal front. If such skills fail to develop, the individual will neither reproduce nor find a productive role within the society. Number 2. As with mice, all species will grow old and gradually die out. There is nothing to suggest human society isn't prone to the same developments that led to demise of Universe 25. Number 3. If the number of qualified individuals exceeds, the number of openings in society, chaos and alienation will be inevitable outcomes. Number 4. Individuals raised under the latter conditions will lack any relation to the real world. Physiological fulfillment will be their only drive in the life. Number 5. Just as mice thrive on a set of complex behaviors, the concern for others developed in post-industrial human skills and understandings is vital to man's continuance as species. The loss of these attributes within a civilization could lead to its collapse. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video and want more informative content like this, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for all the updates. You can also let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.